There you go. Beans, give me the beans. All right, this here is the square body truck bed camper. This is my 74 GMC. We just got this thing put together over the past year or so. I've been fooling with it. It was a big mess and pieces in a friend of mine's backyard. I picked it up and got it going again. And then I, uh, I found this square body eight foot uh, half ton truck bed trailer from another friend for free actually. And I decided I'd try to make a little camper out of it for me and my son that would match the pickup. This little teardrop is for my wife and our two little girls. They, uh, when we go camping, they usually stand here and me and my son just camp in a tent or something. But now that we got this, ultimately what I want to do is tow the, uh, tow the pickup camper with that and put this little thing on the back of it. It'll never be going down the highway or anything. It'll just be to camp in areas near my house that we just put down dirt roads to get to. So not too worried about the doubles. It's very unclear out here, California law, whether or not it's illegal. But so far, I've started putting this thing together inside. I'll, uh, I'm gonna get it in the shop and start piddling with it some more today. So once it's in there and we can see a little better, I'll show what all I've already done to it and what we plan on doing to it. So yeah, I'll be back here in a second. Stay tuned. Choke works perfect in this thing. Got a brand new uh, 600 Holly Carb. Time to get this thing in the shop. All right, we're in the shop now. It's uh, it's been sitting for a couple months. And the kids have been monkeying around in here. Some stuff laying around. It's all dusty and everything. But uh. So far, what we've done is put some foam mat down on the on the floor of the bed. It's the stuff you get from like Harbor Freight, little two by two foot squares. So we covered the floor with that, and then I put down some uh, carpet foam and carpet, and built this little wood area here. Uh, we boxed in the wheel well, so we got some storage right there. I set up a uh, I set up a TV there for the kids. We, if you run a generator outside of it, which we've done for a few nights, they plug that in and they got a little video game thing in here. It has like old Nintendo games. So they can plug that into it and then uh, play games. I set that little chair up right there on the wood part of the floor so they can sit there with the controllers. They have fun with it. But yeah, so we did the flooring there. We built a bunk. That's just a wood frame with some carpet on it and it slides back and forth. I want to... Uh, just like our teardrop, I want to set up a single 12 volt RV battery. So I got this little battery box with some LED strip lights. I think I'll just put one of those on each side of the back here. They got buttons on them so you can just reach in and click the button up to light it up and then put a couple up there. I've also got a little solar panel for this one. I bought this for the teardrop, but the teardrop already has a trickle charger. And as long as we don't go out for any more than one night with it, that battery always lasts and uh, we just plug it in when we get home. So with this one, I'm gonna try to put this up on the roof. It's got a little box to monitor the voltage and all that and how it's charging. So that might work pretty good. I'll stick that on the roof, put that battery up there on the tongue and set up some lights in there. And then I wanna try to make some kind of little swamp cooler out of like a drink cooler. Got this big fan here. I don't know how well single 12 volt battery for an RV will power that, but I guess we'll find out. So. The little teardrop actually has a similar thing, but it's a much smaller fan. It works, but not all that great. So I want to try to make something more powerful for this one. The uh, the heat is an issue with us out here. It gets, it gets pretty hot. I figure worst case scenario, I could probably get a larger generator or maybe cut a hole in the side and just put a window unit in it. But uh, yeah, so for now, that's pretty much all we've done. I had to fool with the cap a little bit. I had to make a little plate. It was missing the window back here. And I siliconed pretty much every little crack and surface and every, everywhere it mates up around the windows and all that. Um, today, I'm going to, uh, I think, just clean up the frame. I want to paint that flat or satin black or something so it looks a little cleaner. I'll probably cut this broken jack off. Uh, we'll have to go get a new one of those to put on there on the front. And then... I also added this bumper back here. Big step bumper. I want to get a couple more jacks like that 
put one on each side of the step bumper. So if you unhook it from the truck, you can jack up the rear and have it leveled out. The problem is the kids want to hop in there sometimes if it's not hooked up and they jump on the tailgate and then almost flips over. So we definitely need something for the bumpers to support it if it's not hooked to the truck. But uh, yeah, so for now, I think I'm going to get into cleaning the frame up and painting it. Maybe later today I can find a color to try to paint the bed to make it match the pickup because it looks pretty hideous and it'd be cool if it matched the truck more. So I'm going to get into all that. I have some photos from when we put this together in here. It was pretty simple basic stuff though, just cutting out the foam and the carpet and cutting the wood to the right length and everything. But I still got some photos of the progress. It's kind of neat to look at it. So I'll post those here in a little slide and then get back with some more footage as it comes along. Thank you.